So I want to talk about customer service or the lack thereof. You know, Heine Brothers is a local coffee shop here in Louisville. They have about um, 17 or 18 shops. Generally, really good customer service. I've had some not so good customer service from one particular barista. I don't know her name. I don't know from a hole in the wall. But for some reason, not very good customer service from her at the downtown Heine Brothers at the PNC Tower. So I called the corporate number. I had told the manager once before, and he gave me a card for a free bagel, which I never used because... I don't need a card for a free bagel or a free coffee. When I ask for better customer service, I'm not trying to get something for free. I'm trying to see if, you know, the manager will take proactive action. And apparently he had not because the service still sucked. I mean, I probably could use a better adjective, but I guess the service stunk. From this one particular barista whose name I don't know, I could describe, but why do that? That's not the point. It's not about the barista, it's about management. It's about, well, you're going to hear about the corporate structure, I suppose, because I called the corporate number. Now, what I did was I went on Google and I looked up the corporate office, which is actually just like 10 blocks from the office I work at. I'm an attorney in downtown Louisville. And uh, they had a number and I called like, I think it was like two or three minutes before nine. So I got an answering machine and it wasn't like a good voicemail or anything. It sounded like an answering machine from like the late 80s, you know, like with the cassette and the tape and all that and it didn't sound good so what i did was i said let me wait till after nine i mean you know maybe they're like a nine to five like the vast majority of people i call like at 905 again and then i just i was like there's just no way so i think i waited till like after 10 a.m i was like by now someone's gonna pick up this is a corporate number right no it was that answering machine again so i left a detailed message it was probably like 30 seconds. And if you know 30 seconds, that's a good amount of time to speak. I never got a call back that day. And the next day, it was like three or four in the afternoon. I was like, wow, I don't think they're ever going to call you back. So I sent an email through their website. They have an email form. I sent that. And a lady named Erin wrote me back. It could be a guy, but I'm pretty sure Erin, E-R-I-N, is a woman. I'm not, I don't know. And um, I wrote her a four and a half paragraph long email. And I also said, look, I'm not looking for anything free. I don't want anything free. In fact, I didn't even use the free card that the manager had given me way back when. I just want better customer service. It was a very polite, very well-written email. It was written from my work email. So it had my fax and my two phone numbers and the office address. She could see that it was right across the street from the Heine Brothers at PNC. Sorry, I'm holding the phone with my left hand. It's not my dominant hand. Anyways, that was um, Wednesday. And today is Saturday morning and Aaron never wrote me back. Now, granted, I wanted nothing. I didn't want a free coffee. I didn't want a free bagel. Didn't want a call back. Didn't want an apology. What should Aaron have done from the corporate office at Heine Brothers? What should she have done? Very simple. It's a response that would have said, I'm sorry you had a bad experience. I hope you have a better one. Or thank you for your feedback. We really appreciate it. Or we're going to look into the matter. Thanks again for your business. Something like that, Aaron, would have been apropos, appropriate, you know? It's sad that I've got to tell you guys at the corporate office with 16, 17, 18 locations in Louisville, and you're always promoting shop local. Well, people aren't going to shop local if your customer service is the pits. You got Big B Coffee coming in. They're in Northern Kentucky. They're in Shelbyville. They're coming to Louisville. I used to go to them all the time when I was in law school in Michigan. Amazing customer service, responsive managers, responsive corporate. People wanted to buy franchises left, right, and center. Starbucks, I would have gotten a much better response. I know Starbucks, the big, bad corporate people that they are, but they would have given me a great response and made me feel like a person, like I mattered, you know? They don't have a 1980s answering machine and they don't have a non-responsive corporate person that talks to you in email because you figure if somebody is going to look you up, leave you a voicemail and then send you a four and a half paragraph long email, that's a loyal customer. You got to treat loyal customers with a little bit of warmth, you know, a little bit of concern, at least respond to them, you know? So... Tiny Brothers, you know, you get a one star from me for your customer service at the corporate level. At the store level, probably like four stars out of five. You guys have got great staff. 
Unfortunately, I keep running into one in my transactions at the PNC Tower that I don't think likes me very much. And I don't know who she is. Maybe she doesn't look like a look. You know, maybe I look too much like John Fetterman and she doesn't like John Fetterman. I don't know. But your corporate out of five stars, if I could give you no stars, I would. But I, I don't think you can do that. So I think I've got to give you at least one star. So I give you one star out of five. Aaron, huge missed opportunity. You could have made me happy. I probably would have gone back and bought another cup of Joe just with a one line, two line response. Sorry you had a bad experience. We hope you have a better one. Thanks for your business. Goodbye. I would have been history. I would have forgotten it. I would have thought, even if you wouldn't have done anything that maybe you would have because you read it. But you just ignored me, Aaron. Thank you. And thank you, Heine Brothers Corporate. Get yourselves a better answering machine. Maybe go digital.